Hi, I'm Elias. a PhD student in accelerated physics here at CERN, the biggest particle physics laboratory in the world. Most of my time I spend doing research and collecting experimental data for ion beams in different accelerators here. But I'm also an official CERN guide showing around many of the different experimental points and exhibitions that we have here. The new CERN museum called the Science Gateway opened just a few weeks ago. In this video, I'll show you around many of these experimental visiting points and why you should come as a public visitor to see the biggest particle physics laboratory in the world. Every student and employee working here for more than a few months can become a guide. So first we have to follow a four-hour communication course for guides and then we have to do one-hour trainings for each of the different visitor points. Here behind me, for instance, you can see the Atlas Visitor Center that I also guide. Here behind me you can see the Synchrocyclotron, the SC. It was the first accelerator to be commissioned at CERN in 1957 and it had an exceptionally long career. Today there's a light show here to illustrate its functionalities, but also to show the highlights of the history of CERN. When I guide people here at CERN, this is usually the first place I bring them to. Here behind me you can see Lear, the low energy iron ring. It's one of the spots that I usually guide and this spot up here is actually one of the few platforms where you can see the entity of an accelerator while it's running because of the beam energy being so low. Actually in 1995, anti-hydrogen was created for the first time ever on Earth by humans here behind me. Then this accelerator was converted into a vital component of the chain of accelerators bringing ions into the LHC. So this is one of the important accelerators where I also do my own research. Another one of my favorite guiding spots is the antimatter factory here at CERN. The only place in the world as of now where we can make anti-hydrogen by combining antiprotons with positrons. Paul Dirac predicted actually the existence of antimatter already in 1928, for which he got the Nobel Prize. And here in the antimatter factory, the anti-hydrogen is then tested in different experiments. For instance, recently it was found that antimatter interacts with gravity in the same way as matter does. Now I'm done in the LHC tunnel for the annual shutdown. I've just been uh, seeing the power converters, the cryogenic uh, system. It's quite impressive actually because just here you can see that the beam is passing through just two single beam pipes. 13 kiloamps come down here to power all the dipole magnets. It's really a privilege being down here. Most of the year you cannot even be here because of all the radioactivity. This is a site where normally you need to have dosimeters and you cannot go for normal guided tours. But every now and then, as a student or employee at CERN, you get these chances to see these very spectacular sites. Now I'll show you the CERN control center, the brain of the whole CERN accelerator complex. Come on in. Here in the CERN Control Center, the CCC, is the center from which all the big accelerators at CERN are governed. Here behind me you can see the Large Hadron Collider ring, the LHC ring. Further down in the other corner you can see the cryogenic LHC ring. Then further down in the other corner we have the proton synchrotron ring. And here on the other end you can see the SPS, the super proton synchrotron ring. And what is exciting here is that many of the different operators and machine physicists, they gather here to, uh, to control these machines. Sometimes experimental accelerator physicists like me, we uh, get a certain beam cycle inserted. And this one is inserted in the super cycle of the particular machine that we investigate. So these screens that you can see up here, they show whose cycle is playing for the moment. And Many important moments in the history of CERN have taken place in here. You can see the different bottles here to celebrate different discoveries or machine breakthroughs. So this is a room with quite a particular ambience. It's one of the points that I also show you around as a guide. So for the moment you can see up there that there is a shutdown, so there is no beam. So that's why it's quite empty now compared to how it usually is when the machines are running. So these are some champagne bottles from the experiments to celebrate 
the uh, end of the year run and all the data that's, that's been gathered so far and soon they will also go up on the shelf. So this is the new uh, science gateway complex that you can see here. I'm now walking inside the Science Gateway, CERN's new flagship project for science outreach. This museum contains different sections explaining about the accelerators, detectors, theoretical physics, early universe and the quantum world. And I think the best aspect of being a guide is that we can really meet people from all over the world that comes to visit. And uh, as a guide you really get to know CERN, not only where you are working but also all the other different experiments. And as a visitor, you get to meet us, the guides, who are actually working here at CERN. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's cool, go ahead. That's cool. <laughs> So this is the quantum world, showing the mysterious dual characteristics of waves and particles in the universe. And there are many different interactive experiences here behind me. To summarize, CERN offers many outreach possibilities for visitors coming here. There's the new Science Gateway Museum, and you can sign up for tours to many of the different experiments and accelerators here. I'll be happy to show you around my workplace. And who knows, maybe one day you'll come and work with me here as a guide. If you want more of these type of videos, like this video and subscribe. And hope to see you soon. Ciao!